I built a little nest here out of the cedar bark and the Phragmites and the grass I collected and then just put that on a base. I'm gonna try to use my uh, my lens here. Hopefully I got enough sunlight. Yeah, it's smoking already. Hopefully we can get this to go into flame here. Trying to make the smallest dot I can here with this lens. So today I wanted to show you my leather belt rig from Badger Claw Leatherworks, also a knife sheath from Grizzly Outdoors. Two awesome items that I put together to create what I feel is a fantastic belt kit for me. The belt kit allows me to add or remove components such as possibility bags, tinder bags, canteen holder, knife, things like that, and I can easily just throw that belt on over my coat and head out to the woods. So the components of my belt rig are relatively simple. First I have this canteen pouch which is fantastic. It holds my uh, heavy cover canteen and then I also have my cup and my pot lid at the bottom. It just has a uh, paracord drawstring. I put a Titan survivor cord in there which is some heavy duty paracord. I like the color also. Then I can just pull out my canteen. And then in the bottom you can see the cup there and then below that is the pot so it holds that really nice gives me a nice convenient way to keep that out of my pack keep it handy on the go and then on the other side <clears throat> or i'm sorry on the same side i wear this uh, leather and canvas tinder uh, pouch basically this is just a roll-up tinder pouch it's got a, a ferro rod holder there on one side you just unsnap it and it becomes quite a large pouch to be able to collect tinder in, which is really nice. You can see that once you open this up, it becomes quite a bit larger than even the canteen pouch. So you can fit a lot of items in there, whether you use it for tinder or anything else. Of course, there is the belt, a very high quality leather belt. We can take a closer look at the canteen pouch here. It's very nice, made of wax canvas and then leather. Everything is obviously handmade and done very nicely. 
Then the knife I've been carrying lately is the uh, Schrade SCHF 42, the Brian uh, Griffin design there. And then I have it in a custom Kydex made by Grizzly Outdoors. Fantastic craftsmanship. It's got a very nice D-ring on it. Very nice leather uh, drop loop there. And the Kydex is phenomenal. I like how it's two, two different colors. Some drip loops in the bottom, so absolutely don't have to worry about any water. So you could obviously just wear it as a standalone belt, but I have a different belt on to hold my pants up, and then I just put that this over my uh, coat that I happen to be wearing. It keeps it up a little bit higher. It's easier to take on and off without your uh, pants being affected. You don't you don't have to thread it through any loops. And then also it keeps an airtight seal here for those cooler months uh, so that drafts and things don't enter your coat. Now I might use this as a standalone belt and I might order a little bit longer traditional um, uh, loop belt or ring belt. I think that'd be pretty cool as well. But this one works great. Got my knife on the one side. Very easy to draw. Very nice sheath from Grizzly Outdoors. I love how it matches with the drop, uh, the drop down leather dangler there and it keeps it right up i'm not a huge fan of danglers but when it's when i wear it on a belt like this where i'm wearing it higher up it works really good of course when you sit down that's the whole point of a dangler is that it doesn't stab the ground or stab your leg or anything like that and then on the other side here i just have the uh, tinder pouch and the canteen carrier here i can throw the water bottle just goes right in there like that and then i can just snug the top down and it's not going anywhere so I can wear it on my side or I can spin it around right to the back I love that it's on a dangler so that again when I sit down both things just go off to the side and I don't uh, I don't get any anything that gets real tight or anything like that the uh, the tinder pouch here is awesome for when I'm walking in the woods I can just open it up it is a huge pocket here and then I can just throw tinder in as I go. Then I've got my ferrule rod here on the side with the loop. That's really nice. As you notice, I don't have a loop on my knife. I don't really like carrying a, a ferrule rod with my knife. I prefer to carry it in my kit because what I'll do is when I'm in the woods, I'll just take it and then throw it around my neck and then I know I'm not going to lose my ferrule rod. But it's nice to have it on the side of this tinder pouch for when I'm not gonna be creating fires or anything like that. And then I can just throw the extra cordage on the inside. And I can just wrap this right back up. Works really, really well. It also has a little hook down here, which is convenient for, you know, hanging a key or something like that, or clipping anything on that you might also wanna carry. So I really love this belt kit. Again, it's very easy to put on and take off so when I get to where I might be starting a fire or something like that I can just set this off to the side and then I still have my belt on underneath which is the great thing about using one of these belt kits over your clothing. I hope you guys liked the video today taking a look at a couple custom items that I got for my belt kit. You should build a belt kit of your own. It's definitely an awesome way to go especially once the weather starts to warm up. You can put the minimal amount of gear on your belt and head out. That included with a haversack works great for me when I'm just going out on a short outing to collect tinder, have lunch, or something like that. I'm going to put links below to both Grizzly Outdoors and Badger Claw Leatherworks. You should definitely check them out if you're interested in something like that. Please give this video a big thumbs up for me. Leave me some comments below. Share this video on your social media. And as always, guys, don't forget to click that red subscribe button and subscribe for more videos.